Hey, greetings from Texas. Ever had this happen to you? Well, we got a broken rake. So, um, I took and I just kind of made an outline because this tapers a little bit and whittle it down with a good old trusty Mora knife. So I'm going to take this to my shop. I'll trim that off and then um, I'll show you what I do. First thing I'm going to do is uh, dress up this, the end of this stick. I've got an old grinding wheel here. It wasn't until I got it taken apart that I could figure out how it was put together. Got that planned off. Okay, next we have to remove this uh, rivet. So I'm going to grind that off and we'll pull that old piece of wood out. Don't want to squeeze that too hard. I couldn't pull the rivet out with pliers, so I decided to grip it in the vise. All right, there we go. Okay, so this thing is, these two prongs are still in the wood. The two prongs formed a tang with a hole in the center. I don't know if I can knock it out. All right, well, I can't get that wood out. Let me try a plan B here, see if I could drill it out. I don't know if you can see the um, the actual metal part or the rake is bent there, kind of like a loop. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to get that wood out. The tang sits in a slot in the handle. I'm gonna have to cut a slot so that I could fit on there. I gotta get that wood out of there. Okay, it's cleaned out. Let's cut a slot.
the cutting wheel would only cut so much down vertically. So I had to finish the slot from the sides and taper the wood some more. Okay, so I got to taper that down a little bit more. Well, I'm going to re-drill this hole. Well, there it is, folks, a repaired rake, four inches shorter, but I don't have to buy a new one. Thanks for watching.